Inflammation. Let's talk about it. In fact, I'm going to make inflammation in red because redness is one of the signs of inflammation. Inflammation. Are there two M's? Yeah, because it's m m m m j a m a Redness is one of the signs of inflammation. Swelling is one of the signs of inflammation. Heat is one of the signs of inflammation. These are the signs of inflammation. And we're going to talk about um, what are the, why. Why does an inflamed place get red? Just think about like the last time you had a splinter or you got a cut or a scratch and how it doesn't take long. It's not part of the clotting process. The scab is made. It's like if clotting needs to happen, it's happened. But then the area gets red and the heat associated with inflammation, that's not a fever. Fever is an innate immune response. It's a general response. But the inflammation heat is actually a localized heat at the site of inflammation. So where you get your, um, you know, sliver. It gets red, and if you put your hand there, sometimes you, it might not be easy to tell, but does it kind of make sense that, that those red areas actually are warm to the touch? The purpose of an inflammatory response, or maybe we should say the advantages of an inflammatory response. First of all, so these are all the pros. Like why would we do this? Why is it beneficial to do this? Number one, inflammation, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this as my number one. It's initiated, initiated by inflammatory cytokines. Cytokines are a flavor of communicating molecule in the body. Hormones are communicating molecules. Neurotransmitters are communicating molecules. Cytokines are communicating molecules that usually are associated with an immune response. So cytokines, inflammatory cytokines initiate inflammation. That makes complete sense. One of the advantages is that an inflammatory response creates a barrier around the inflamed thing. So if you get a sliver, slivers in your skin, Slivers are dirty, sure. I mean, there's like bacteria all over them and dirt all over them and who knows what else all over them. So a sliver is introducing a whole bunch of awful stuff into your inside of your body. So by having an inflammatory response, the swelling, the redness, you're actually going to create kind of a barrier around that thing and prevent the stuff that's on the bad guy or the, the initiator to prevent that stuff from getting into your bloodstream and farther into your body. Um, it attracts, the inflammatory response attracts blood cells. Now, how? Cytokines. And why? Why would you want to bring in blood cells? Your white blood cells are the workers in the warriors of the immune response. So the more blood cells that you can bring into an area of potential infection, the better. Like bring them all in. Let's bring the whole army in so that if there are any bad guys here, we can yumptialize them. And the last one is that by um, all the inflammatory response promotes repair. So you bring in the white blood cells to help get rid of the gunk so we can get better. You bring in other blood supplies, chemicals, so that you can get better and you can not have this invader. Now we're going to break our uh, treatment. Of what's the mechanism? How is it that we get swelling, lo and behold, and pain 
there's one mechanism that's, or one strategy that's caused by inflammatory cytokines that results in swelling and pain. Thing initiated by inflammatory cytokines that results in redness and heat. So let's clarify that. And I'm looking at this right now going, you all understood, didn't you, that fever is not an example of the heat of inflammation, right? I don't know why I didn't cross that out. All right, let's talk about swelling and pain.